Hey guys, this is Eclipse Gaming KSP, and I am back with the third episode of Epic Replicas. You can see here I have the A-10 Warthog and the uh, Eurofighter Typhoon. We're gonna take the A-10 out first. Uh, it's ground handling's pretty reasonable, I suppose. Could definitely turn on the ground. Uh, the wings were a pain to construct. The tail was even worse. Engines, I mean, were, yeah, those were okay. But, uh, the result was a pretty good looking plane. So, yeah, it's got two missiles on each side. Um, pretty short takeoff there, you just saw. It's got, like, no yaw stability at all, which means you have to have a lot of rudder input. This is definitely not a plane for beginners. <clears throat> so, this is basically a plane just for people who have pretty good amount of experience flying planes in KSP. Uh, what else is there? Oh crap, that was a bad idea. Let's get the plane lined up. Notice the uh, engines are kind of angled so that the uh, center of thrust goes right through the center of mass. Okay, gotta get some y'all input here. Wasn't paying attention. The plane's a handful. Of course, there is an advantage to the fact that it has no yaw stability, and that is that it acts like a turret. If you had a Gatling gun mounted in front, by the way, I did revive the Gatling gun mod if you guys want it. Um, so yeah, I basically ported the Gatling gun mod, but anyway, yeah, you can turn the plane, put it in a slip so you can aim the Gatling gun, which is I find pretty useful. Oh crap, we are losing control. You still have a problem. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. So this plane really is a handful. So yeah. Let's go ahead and try and land on this island over here. Bring the nose up. We're going a bit fast, but I mean, we can slow down. Lining up's a pain, because, you know, it keeps wanting to go into a slip. I guess the way you do it is just, um, once you're lined up, Kind of, you just pull over and it works better. Put in some y'all input. We're a bit high up. This is gonna be a rough landing. Cause it's pretty hard because I have to get down fast. Yeah, decent. Decent. Alright. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice today. Can't seem to clear my throat. Anyway, yeah, let's. Turn it around. Turn it around, please. There you go. I don't know why the nav ball goes like so crazy when we're turning on the ground. I guess it's maybe because the ground's bumpy or something. But still, it shouldn't have that much effect on it. Notice the rudders. I uh, had a um, little I beam or something with the uh, control surfaces on either side, except I disabled the one on the front. That was the only way I could get it to look realistic and still work. Alright, one more up. You can't go too fast in this plane or else you'll get this awful like oscillation thing. Which I'll eventually fix by having struts. And of course the version you'll download will have struts. But yeah, it was happening just then. It's not cool. What else? Let's try firing some missiles at the space plane hangar over here. There. Well, at least one of them did. The other one went, you know, all over the place. Let's see, it's, the oscillation stuff is still happening. Let's get the plane on the ground before it gets any worse. Alright, we are kind of in a slip. Let's, I don't need to overcorrect. Just like, you know, that. Oops, oops, I overcorrected. Crap. Crap! Okay. You didn't see that. I probably should have just gone around while I still could. But no, I committed to a landing. Oh well, at least that landing worked. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how to build it right now.
So anyway, yep, that's basically how you build it. Now we have the Eurofighter Typhoon, which has basically zero ground clearance. It's got a ground clearance of like a few centimeters. <laughs> which means you gotta be really careful on takeoff and landing, so you don't have a tail strike where if you hit the ground too hard, the gears will compress and the intake will hit the ground. Anyway, yeah, let's take off. It's very quick for acceleration. Notice the nice cockpit out of solar panels I did. That was a real nice touch. So anyway, yeah, let's just rotate slowly so you don't hit the engines. That went pretty well, I guess. Ooh, maneuverability. Ooh. <laughs> I love it. This is like nearly as maneuverable as the III Kefir, which I did um, in the last episode. Except it's um, like more stable. It feels easier to fly and it's more stable. It's a nice plane. Check that out. It's great. Look at the canards there. Look at the intakes I built out of wing pieces. Technically the intake should be a bit wider, but I didn't really have the time to try and figure out how to do that, so I just did it the way it was. It works. It flies too. <laughs> Let's fire some missiles. I call those kinds of missiles call I call them flash missiles because they seem to flash when you fire them. It's kind of the way they work. I have some smaller missiles too, but I don't haven't used them on anything yet. I don't I don't have a nickname for those. You guys need to submit requests because I only got one request from the last video. I really need more. So if you're watching this video and thinking, oh, I bet somebody else is going to do it, you better go ahead and do that because, you know, for one thing, you get to have your ideas in a video, which, I mean, how cool is that? And for another, otherwise, I can't do anything. I mean, I've only got a few ideas of my own. Nobody requested this plane. I mean, I, I just thought of how to do it myself. So yeah, you guys have got to submit some requests. Just saying. It flies pretty well. Check that out. <laughs> I wish I could have done the tail fin better. It looks kind of weird with like the wider rudder part of the top. Oh well, it works. Let's see what else we can do over here. A low pass, maybe through the space center. This is fun. It's like low flying. Woohoo! I pulled like 10 G's there. Wow. That's one way to escape if a missile's coming at you. You just suddenly start going another direction. It's great. What else? Let's see. Don't hit the flagpole. Good. That was close. It was a pretty fun plane to build. It was pretty complicated. It's not my most complex plane, though. It has more parts, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's more complex. I'm not telling you what my most complex is. You haven't seen it yet. I'm going to show you if somebody requests it, or if, you know, nobody submits requests. Let's see. Let's do another takeoff. There. A shorter takeoff that time. Got, you know, a load of four flash missiles on there. Of course, I could get it so it would have um, four of the little missiles and then two flash missiles. Look at that. Flies upside down pretty well. Um, let's see, what else can we do here? Let's turn around some. See if we can get one of the buildings over here with the um missiles. Maybe like who knows? Oh, I think it's yeah. I thought I could get the launch pad, but I missed. Oh well. The accelerate's going straight up too, look at that. Oh wait, no, never mind, it's decelerating. When there's less fuel on board, it might be able to accelerate going straight up. Let's see. What can we do? Let's 
a pretty heavy aircraft considering it's that small. Of course, it's got a lot of drag too, mainly because of solar panels. The solar panels probably create as much drag as the rest of the plane itself, thanks to the screwed up aerodynamics of the Kerbal Space Program. Let's line up the plane here to do a low pass. That was low. <laughs> it was like below those single story buildings. Let's see. It's a pretty good looking replica, if I do say so myself. I will be providing the download links as always. I'll put those in the description. And of course, you know, you know where to submit the request. I'll put that in the description too. I'm not using any mods in this plane. You do see the FMRS mod. That's simply for like reusable rockets like say the Falcon 9 I built a few days ago. Which I'll eventually show you in a video if I get around to it. Let's let's try and land. Let's get the gear down. Not the best approach ever, but it ought to work. My goal is to get it down on the uh, big white blocks, of course, but if I can, I'll try and put them on the ones in front of that. Which is probably going to end up what's happening, considering that I'm going pretty fast and I'm pretty high up. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put them down on these. There. That was a pretty good landing. I didn't even have a tail strike or anything. So yeah. I guess that's it for this episode of Epic Road Blues. Remember, submit your requests. Um, yeah, that went pretty well. So yeah, I've been Eclipse Gaming KSP, and until next time, explode responsibly. Ow.